Hi everyone, good morning. I hope today is a great day for everyone. My name is Gabby Solis and I'm the Development Director and Marketing Director for Care Partners. We're so happy that you have joined us today. Today we have a great video for everyone at home, especially our seniors. Um, this is a really quick video that you can do at home. It's a 10 minute uh, video. You can do it once or twice a day. We're doing it now uh, live, but it will also stay here on our pages. Um, so you can always come back and view it. So I want to introduce today our president, Jenna Dayer, and Josie. Hi, Josie. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're excited this morning that we get to work out with y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let y'all introduce yourselves and also explain to everyone what we're doing today. Awesome. Thanks, Gabby. Well, we're uh, grateful to be uh, here at home today and providing you this mini older adult uh, chair exercises or standing. I think Josie and I might switch throughout, but this is my daughter, Josie. She is 16. She is our willing participant today. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully get her to slow down so that we can, we can really understand what we're doing in this workout. But just wanted to say hi and hope everybody's doing well at home. Everybody at Care Partners, all of our staff and our volunteers are thinking about everyone and praying that everybody is safe. Want to reiterate and make sure that everybody is following all the CDC, World Health Organization guidelines and preventative measures to make sure that you're safe and free from this COVID virus. I know it's going to be probably a little bit longer uh, that we're going to have to stay at home. So just be looking for some really great things at Care Partners on our live feeds and also pre-recorded things that will hopefully give you a little bit of help at home, uh, maybe a little bit of entertainment. You might see a little bit of that from Josie and I today. We are mother and daughter, and uh, just some great things that you can do with your loved one at home. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, wanna make sure that you guys have your two cans of soup. That's gonna be your makeshift weights. Uh, want to make sure that you have a towel. Grab your kitchen towel, Josie. Wanna, yeah, got your kitchen towel. I'm using one of my grandmother's towels. Um, it's embroidered from, I don't know, probably the 40s. And a water bottle, and then obviously some Kleenex if you've got the sniffles. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We are gonna, you can put that back. We are gonna start with our shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna take it nice and easy. So when you're with your loved one or you're doing this workout alone, you can either sit or stand. It just depends on your capabilities, and what you're able to do. So you could start sitting and then you may want to stand. This is a really simple workout. And Gabby's also posting the image on Facebook and it will also be on our website under our educational, um, educational materials under the COVID-19 response or crisis response page. So Josie, you ready to get started? She's gonna stand and I'm gonna sit. <laughs> She's a lot more active than I am. Okay, so just make sure you can see yourself in the, in the camera. All right, so we're gonna start with five shoulder shrugs, and all we're gonna do is lift our shoulders all the way up to our ears. Shoulder shrugs, do the same. All right, let's do five shoulder shrugs. One, two, three, four, and five. And you might, while you're doing this at home, Maybe have some music in the background, something fun to listen to that will help help you through the workout and give you guidance. We don't have music here, so it sounds a little bit boring, uh, but we wanted to make sure that you could hear us. Okay, so we are still warming up. We are going to lift our arms above our head, and we're going to clap our hands. So maybe move just a little bit to the side of me. And I think we're supposed to keep social distance at home, so we'll try to do arm bumps and things like that. All right, so we're gonna lift our arms above our, above our head and clap our hands. I'm gonna do a modified version. Josie's gonna do the full version. So we're gonna do it five times. Lift your arms above your head and clap above your head. I'm gonna do the modified version. Josie's gonna do the full version. There's one. And let's go again. Two. Oh, we are in sync, Josie. This is the first time ever. Three. Good job. Four, and last one, five. All right, see, we can, we can clap our own hands, we just can't clap anybody else's hand. All right, let's shake it out. Can you shake it out, Josie? 
<laughs> all right, we're gonna do leg and knee lifts. And all we're gonna do is just lift and we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna start with our right leg first, which is gonna look like the left leg for you all. I can do it that way. I'm not sure that Josie's gonna be able to get that. And I don't, I don't want her to be exposed to looking like a goofball. All right, so we're gonna start with our right leg first. So all we're gonna do, Josie, you put your hand up like this, right by your hip. And that might be kind of high for, for some folks. And all we're gonna do is lift our knee into our hand and the other leg, and the other leg. There's two, this is three, and four, and five. All right, I think I alternated those, but now we're gonna do five leg lifts. Josie, all you're gonna do is lift your leg and you're gonna go straight leg in front of you. You're not gonna do anything with your arms unless you wanna use them for balance. And for those of you at home when you're standing, if you do have a loved one or you wanna stand, just make sure you're always shoulder width apart so that you're giving yourself really good balance. All right, so we're gonna do leg lifts. So all we're gonna do is just point our leg out and lift. Ooh, this is good balance. And the other leg and down. This is our number two. And up, two, and up, good. And Josie has some wicked balance. Come on, Josie. You're wobbling all over. This is our last one, five. All right, okay, and that's it for our warm-up. So we're gonna take a quick water break. I'm gonna give Josie her water. You wanna make sure you have water close. I'm gonna get some too. It's a little bit hot in our room. Believe it or not, I might start sweating. Josie's gonna have her entire water bottle drip. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start the workout. So we're gonna do these activities in 30 second increments and then we're gonna take a 15 second break. So just like we just got done doing, we are going to do the straight leg lifts. We're gonna start with the right leg. We're always gonna alternate. I'm gonna watch the clock. So I'm gonna start us and then I'll give you a five second countdown when we're at that 30 seconds. And then we'll take a 15 second break. In that 15 seconds, you can grab your towel, you can wipe the sweat off, you can use a Kleenex if you've got a runny nose, and also grab a drink of water. It's really, really important, no matter the timing of the workouts, to make sure that you stay hydrated. You ready, Josie? Oh, She's ready. Okay, so same thing we just ended with. We are going to do leg, straight leg lifts, and alternate. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, every 30 seconds. And we're about ready. All right, let's go. And leg lift. Josie might end up going faster, and we can let her do that, but you just remember to go at your own pace. And try to keep your leg as straight as possible. Josie, maybe do a little bit more shoulder width. There you go. That'll help you keep better balance. And then she goes back to putting her legs forward. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. Let's take a quick 15 second break. Again, remember you can grab the towel, your water, a Kleenex if you need. 15 seconds goes quickly. So our next 15 seconds is gonna be really easy. We're just doing toe taps. You ready, Josie? Okay. And let's go. Right toe tap in front, left toe tap. Might be kind of hard to see my little toes down there, but we are just tapping in front and we're going for 30 seconds. There you go. Josie's doing the side to side. I'm doing the front. That's good. We'll just alternate the next one. Keep it going. All right, four seconds, two, and one. Take a quick break. Okay, so Josie and I just alternated that. So on this one, she's gonna do front toe taps, and I'm gonna do side to side toe taps. These 15 seconds go quickly. We're about ready to get started. All right, you ready, Josie? So you're doing front toe taps, and let's go. And I'm doing side toe taps. There you go. And remember, go at your own pace. And here, we're just trying to get a little bit more flexibility and work out the different muscles in our legs. Keep it going. Like I said, Josie's gonna go a lot quicker. Three, two, one, all right, we're taking a quick 15 second break. I'm gonna move my 
screen here real quick. Ooh, lucky us, we actually have a minute break. All right, so while we're taking this minute break, let's grab a drink of water. And if you and your loved one wanna switch and one sit and one stand, that might be something to do. Or if you feel more comfortable and you wanna grab another chair, and you want to sit next to your loved one if you're feeling winded. We want to make sure that you do these workouts at your own pace. So you're going to need your Kansas soups on this one. These are going to be our weights. So if you're able to use your Kansas soups, please try to. If it gets a little bit too heavy, then make sure you put your Kansas soup down. She's done with her water. She may end up needing another one. This workout's really getting her, guys. All right, Joseph, here's your cans of soup. She's using some green beans today. Those cans are a little bit bigger. She's got much larger hands than I do. I'm using little bitty Campbell's soup, cream of chicken and cream of celery. So my hands are small, so it's gonna be a lot easier for me to use these. So if your loved one has larger hands, just make sure you're using bigger cans of soup. That'll be easier for them to hold on to. And the same for you if you have smaller hands. So you want to actually hold your Kansas soups and point the Kansas soups so your palms are facing down. So now we're gonna do our arm workout. I'm gonna have Josie move a little bit over that way because we're gonna end up hitting each other. Maybe you can go forward a little bit, Josie. There you go, that way we don't hit each other. So make sure that you're keeping your space in your loved one and maybe, oh, that's, that's probably all right. She won't, I don't think she'll knock me, but if she does, be, be prepared for everybody, like I said. There might be some entertainment in some of our videos. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do 30 second increments, increments again, and then we're gonna take 15 second breaks. On this one, you might get a little bit more winded. I don't know, Josie might even get more winded. Might get a little bit more winded, so make sure that you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And if you ever feel like you need to stop or you need a break, please just rest your cans of soup on your lap and take a break. You don't have to push through. You can always come back to the workout later, but always do what your body tells you to do. All right, you ready? So on this one, we're gonna do 30 seconds of arm raises in the front. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we're gonna get started. Yep, we're gonna do it that way, but Josie, let's do alternating. And you wanna make sure that your arm, your can of soup does not go over your shoulder. All right, are we ready? Are we ready, Josie? Yep. All right, so we're gonna alternate. We're gonna start with the right arm. Again, it's gonna look a little goofy to you. It's gonna look like our left arm. All right, and let's go. Alternate your arm raises. Remember, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Anybody who has a bad shoulder, just lower and don't go so high. Doing a little bit of alternating. All right, I know you guys are looking good at home. All right, we've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let's rest for 15 seconds. On the next one, we're actually gonna go side to side. This is where it could get a little hairy. Hopefully Josie doesn't bonk me. We are gonna go side to side, and again, just do what you can. Are you ready? Arms side to side, start down by your hips, and let's go. Same thing, let's not let those cans of soup go over our shoulder. Great job. <laughs> it almost looks like she's kidding me. <laughs> she probably might want to knock me out. All right, we're almost done. Four, three, two, and one, and relax. So again, go at your own pace. You can obviously tell that Josie's going a little bit faster than I am, and I'm going a little bit slower. So it's all right, it's a 30 second increment. You can go as fast or you can go as slow as you want. So on our next one, this one is actually going to, it's, it's going to do a lot of good for us and you. So you know how when you're reaching for something that's high in a cabinet or you want a coffee cup that's a little bit higher and sometimes it's a little bit hard to reach because we don't have the flexibility or our shoulder might hurt? And that's what she's practicing right there or she might be stretching. This is the exercise that's really gonna help you start to reach 
and get those high item things out of the cupboards. Are we ready? So we're gonna go arm raises over our head and we're gonna alternate again. And let's go, we're taking a little bit longer for break, but that's all right. And let's go, up and over the head. And you can keep your Kansas suit by your shoulder. There you go. And we're gonna go 30 seconds. Building shoulder and arm strength is really gonna help you get to those items in the bathroom and in your kitchen and in your pantry. And probably help you with the laundry too. All right, we've got three seconds. Three, two, and one. And we got one last one in, okay. All right, so actually that completes our workout. We're gonna start our cool down. So in the cool down, you're gonna need to put your cans of soup down. And by the way, just make sure you have those items close and nearby. So we're using our dining room space as our little fitness studio today. You can use any room in the house. You always wanna make sure that you have a nice sturdy chair. Don't use a chair that might fold on you or might have a, a bad leg. You always wanna make sure you have a good stable base when you're sitting in a chair. And then for those of you that are standing, just make sure that you're always standing at least shoulder width apart. That way you've got a good base. All right, let me switch down to our cool down. Okay, so we're gonna grab our towels. Here you go, Josie. You guys have done a great job today. This will also be posted on our YouTube. So if you or your loved one or family members, and this can be done around, around the country, around the world. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have my mom do this with my dad up in Nebraska because he's homebound as well. He cannot go outside um, because of the danger of this disease or this illness. So we are gonna make our towel taut. And all we're doing is we're gonna stretch those upper body muscles out in our cool down. So hold your towel taut in front of you and let's make it nice and taut. Maybe even just kind of stretch it. There you go, Josie's got it right. And all we're gonna do is we're going to start down by our lap and we're gonna lift our arms above our head and that's gonna feel really good. Josie's gonna do the regular version and I'm gonna do a modified version. So if this is all the further I can go up, this is all the further you're gonna go. But do kind of stretch and challenge yourself and go back down. We're gonna do this two times. One more time. That may have actually been our third time. And down. All right. Actually, and then on our third time, we're gonna we're gonna keep our talent down by our lap. Okay, so now on this round, we're actually going to go as far up as we can above our head. And again, I want you, this is, we're gonna to go to our right. It's gonna end up looking like your left on the screen. So I want you to lean to the right. There you go. That's gonna stretch your muscles, your abdomen out. It's gonna feel really good. And let's go back to center. And then let's go to the left, which is your right. There you go, stretch it out, back to the center. We're gonna do this two more times. And again, I'm gonna go modified version. So let's go to the right. So my towel is gonna be just a little bit more in front of my head because maybe I don't have the flexibility quite yet to go up and over my head. And then to the left, your right. Oh, it even stretches those back muscles out a little bit. All right, and one more time. And to the center. And down. And one more time. Is this our third time or did I miscount? <laughs> the fourth time. I may have given you one too many. That's all right. This is our fourth time. All right. And let's put your towel in your lap. I'll take Josie's towel. So you take your loved one's towel. All right. The last part of our workout, what I want you to do is I want you to put your right arm behind, right arm behind your back. And all I want you to do is try to move your palm slowly up your back. So it's going to look like this. Arm behind your back and slowly move your hand, your palm, up and down your back. Okay, you got it. Left arm, same thing. I'll sit. Just move that left palm up and down your back as much as you can.
Good job. Let's switch arms again. Right palm on the middle of your back and move that palm up and down your back. How are you feeling, Josie? Feeling She's great. feeling pretty good. She might show you box jumps later. I would not strong. I would not recommend to do that at home. All right, palms flat on your lap, and we're just going to do a couple of breathing exercises, and you guys are done. All right, we're going to take a nice deep breath in through your nose and forcefully out through your mouth. Let's do that three times, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Last time, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. All right, elbow bump your mate, <laughs> and you guys are done with the workout. You've done a great job. We appreciate you being here with Josie and I today. Hope this workout gives you a little bit of something to do either by yourself or with your loved one at home. You can do it a couple of different times a day or just once a day. But it'll help you stay active and healthy at home. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jenna and Josie. We appreciated that. Um, You're welcome. Make sure that the mini workout at home is something you and your loved one do. Uh, I just want to remind you that we are going to be posting more videos of workout sessions. We have an exciting calendar that we're going to show and share with you all this week. We have a lot of sessions, a lot of uh, invited speakers that we're going to be bringing on. Um, we're going to be doing crafts. We're going to be doing some music. We want to make sure that you have everything at home for your loved one, especially those diagnosed with Alzheimer's, dementia, memory loss, or even just your loved ones that are aging to make sure that they have something to do while we're all going through this new normal of uh, being at home because of the COVID-19. So I want to remind you that follow us on our Facebook page that you are on here. It's facebook.com partner, uh, care partners, Texas. Um, also on our website at carepartnerstexas.org. We're putting all of our updates there as far as our programs, what we're doing, any new updates that our president Jenna Dayer has and what we have. Um, and then also our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel at Care Partners Texas as well that you can also view all of the videos that we'll be posting. Uh, right now we went live on both Facebook and YouTube. So if you don't have a Facebook account, you can view us on YouTube. And again, the, those videos will also be on our website. Uh, so we just wanna make sure that we stay connected with you. Uh, and also I wanted to remind you, if you have any needs, if we can, uh, make sure and, and bring speakers in of what you're interested in. Please email us at info at carepartnerstexas.org. Uh, this is our email. We want to make sure and, and uh, know that we are here for you and we are working hard to make sure and bring all of these um, videos and um, more resources online for you to view while we're all at home. So again, thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Jenna, for this mini workout session. That was great. We've already and lost Josie. <laughs> we already lost Josie. I know. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, we want to thank y'all, and we hope that you stay safe. We will be back up again, uh, and we'll not notify everyone. Okay. Bye, Josie. <laughs> there she goes. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank you all. Have a great day. Bye.